This section on DMED console is about configuring the software for first use. Okay, we're going to launch DMED console for the first time. Uh, we're going to create a user profile. This is useful if multiple people are going to be using the same computer. The user profile stores preferences as you use the software. Yes, let's create it. Then we have to tell the software where the reference files are. Let's do that now. So we'll select a library path. Let's create a new folder. Um, I'll put it on the C drive, but it can be wherever you'd like it to be. Let's call it DMET library. It asks us to add some data. Uh, let's not do that yet. We want to actually put files into the DMET library folder. So I'll hit cancel. If this computer is connected to the internet, you should be able to get them simply from saying download library files. At this point, you'll enter your affymetrics.com email address and password if you have it. If not, click on the register now button. So I will do that now. There's one array that's supported for this software, DMET Plus, so we'll select it and we'll download the associated library files. After downloading all the files, let's actually point the software to specific versions of certain library files. This is because over time, Affymetrics releases newer versions of files, and so the software needs to know which version of certain library files you want to use. For example, the marker annotation file, which defines things like the common name for a marker and associated RSIDs and flanking positions and that kind of stuff. We need to select one. In the library folder that we downloaded, there's one of these files. There's only one of this type, so that makes the selection easy. Also, when we perform allele translations, there's two required files. An allele translation file in the library folder. There's only one version of that um, for new installs. And for the metabolizer bin file name, this one's used to make phenotype calls for some genes. There's one version of that file in this folder at this point. We'll select that. If you had trouble downloading the library files, the Internet Settings tab can be used to specify a proxy server. Your IT could give you particular values to fill in these fields to help connect and download library files directly. If you can't get the files either by this mechanism or just via a download library files, you can also get them from our website. To download the library files from the Affymetrics website, just go to the main page, select Products, under Microarray Solutions, there's Drug Metabolism Analysis, go to the Software section, we're going to get files related to DMIT console software. In the technical documentation section, we have uh, the genotyping library files. So you can download this and copy them, unzip them into your library folder. And also the annotation and little translation files. And for completeness sake, you should also download the release notes.